Some days you step out of the batting cage before the game and you just don't know how things are going to go. You can either strike out four times or everything can click and you have a great game at the plate. This is one of those games where everything clicked. Coming up in the first inning with a man on first and second, I was looking at an early RBI opportunity and I drill a fastball down the third baseline. One run comes in to score, I round first, think about two, but I'll just settle for my one and we're just getting started here. Come up for my second at bat and there's a man on first and second again. And it's deja vu all over again. I drill a pitch down the third baseline. One run comes into school. I'm standing out first with another single. Already it's a pretty good day. But it's like Pringles. Once you pop, you just can't stop. And I needed some more hits. Third at bat, and there's a man on first and second again. My teammates were hitting all over the place. And I hit that one into the left center field gap. Around second, I'm thinking about three. I'm getting greedy in this game. But luckily, I come back before they tag me. Standing out second with a double. I wanted one more. I came up on my fourth at bat looking for my first 4 for 4 game. I go out there and snatch it with a line drive to right field. And I'm feeling good because we're sliding into second base with four hits under my belt on the road to the show. We are still here in Indianapolis and you know what? I gotta tell you, I'm kind of settling into having Indianapolis as my home and the Pirates as my organization. Once I got over the fact that I wasn't going to be making any sex tapes with no Hollywood, uh, you know, be celebrities, wasn't going to be seeing the bright lights of LA anymore, I kind of accepted my role here. They have me splitting time between first base and DH, and it's really letting me work on my hitting. Hopefully, I'll be on the Pirates soon. I'm hitting well. I'm still hitting over 340. I'm having a good, like, last two weeks. Hopefully, that continues here today. I'm DHing once again, so it's going to be all hitting all the time. No wasting time with the on the field stuff. Let's get right to it. We're already up one nothing in the bottom of the first. There you go. That's that's a good season right there. That's a good complete season. We're only still about halfway through, and I haven't even made it to the majors yet. Man, on second, we're up one nothing already. Bottom of the first inning. Let's see if we can drive another one in. I mean, it's never too early to get another insurance run. Best thing I want is a good at bat. That's a nasty curveball to start me. 81 miles per hour hind inside. There's nothing I'm gonna do about that in the first pitch of the at bat. I'm just gonna watch it the whole way. But I'm gonna do something about that. Where is that? That's deep to right field. Come on. Make it out, baby. Ooh. Oh, didn't make it out. But run. What's this dude doing? Run. Oh, shit. I'm going to get caught at second. Oh, he's going. He's going. To, oh, my God. His indecisiveness. He threw it home? Oh, wow. Okay. The AI is just fucking up all over the place on that play. First, my guy didn't want to run home. Then he runs home late. And then they freaking throw the... My dude was already in the dugout by the time they threw the ball home to let me get to third. They had me dead to rights between freaking second and third and it just let me get there I'll, I'll take it that's a big run right there there's a prime hitting guy he worked himself into right here he just needs to put some contact on the ball to drive me in you know what? let me back up let me tag that's a deep ball but i don't know if it's gone oh it's gone Woo -hoo -hoo! four nothing bottom of the first putting it on them that's what i'm talking about we rarely get this type of run support in this game Anyone who's played this game knows that most of the time you're, you're the team giving up like eight runs in the first inning. This time we're scoring it? I'll take it, shit. Let's keep it rolling. Our pitching has completely let us down. It is 5-5 in the bottom of the third now. Hopefully I can get on base in, to start this inning, begin a new rally, and score five more. But shit, when you get a 5 nothing lead to start the game, you expect... Oh, my God, that curveball. He's liking to throw that curveball to start the at-bat time. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not liking him at all because he's, he's getting me off guard with him. Right there. That's another deep shot. Holy shit. Go, 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 go. Oh, nice running catch. Right that shit down in the gap. All I can do is put good contact on the ball. And if they're going to run it down, not much I can do about that. That's still a good at-bat in my books. But, hey, we need to score some more runs. Bottom fifth now. And the pitching has finally... Settled down a little bit on both ends. Still 5-5. Five, five. Man on first. One man out. Let's see if we can move this man over at least. Maybe we'll get another run here in this inning. I wasn't swinging at that time, you motherfucker. I knew that curveball was coming. He threw it three times in a row to start the freaking at bat. I wasn't going to swing it at the third time. I was expecting it. Let's see if we can get a nice fastball to hit right here. No, uh-uh. I didn't swing. If you say I swing, you're a liar. There you go. Get my man right there. He looks like Mark McGuire. Must be his brother, Matt McGuire. 2-0 count. There's a fastball right down the middle. I'm going for the power swing. That's a deep shot. That's a line drive. It might be over the wall or oh, off the wall. Two shots off the wall in one game. I'm seeing the ball well, but that warning track power is still killing me. 
Two men in scoring position. We're setting up this inning nicely. Let's get some runs in. There's no denying he's been swinging one of the hottest bats on the club, if not the entire league. And he comes through again with his second hit of the ball game. Oh, don't tell me he. Oh, he didn't. He, he didn't swing at it. Come on, up. Ah, that's a bad opportunity right there, man. On first and second. I mean, man, on second and third with one out. Two two batters worked a two old count and they couldn't drive the two runs home. They couldn't even drive one home. <laughs> Still five five in the bottom of the seventh now. It's bottom of the sixth. Sorry, this is a huge, huge, huge at bat, man. On second and third. Oh, this bottom of the seventh. Shit, I thought it was bottom of the sixth. They're walking me. Oh my god. I guess I'm too much of a beast. They don't even want to pitch to me. All right, I'll take first. They're gonna regret the. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to regret it later. Right That's what I was trying to say. Hit hard to the right. Oh, oh, man. That might have cleared the bases if it got around in that corner and started rattling around. See if he gets another one to hit like that. There we go. Ooh, almost did it again. No, not two. Not two. Not two. Ah, they pulled off the double play. We, damn it. That's another big opportunity we just squandered. Bases loaded with one out. We don't get any runs out of it. This is, this, this is going to go down to the wire. I don't even get another at bat. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we won. I didn't need to get another at bat. Two for three. One double. One triple. One RBI. I had an opportunity to drive in some more. But, I, you know, I messed up a little bit. But it's okay. We got the win. And I still got the player of the game. Which is, uh, I mean, it's not as important as the win. But it still feels pretty damn good. So, I mean, I'm hitting over 340. I'm hitting well. I'm hitting for power. Hopefully, I'll be on the Pirates soon. I, I've been looking at the depth chart. The only man they have above me on the, the starting squad in Major League Baseball and on the bench, they're not as high overall as me, and they're not playing nearly as well as I am. So, hopefully, you know, the, the management will open up their eyes and call call Big Red up for a cup of coffee or something so I can show them what I can do in the majors. Until then, we're going to stay swinging here down in Indianapolis. I'm Big Red and Y. Thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you on the next one.